So you want to create transitions like 0x100 but you think it is just too hard. In this video I'm going to reveal their secret. So without any further ado, let's start. Alright so here I am inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So in here I have a background which contains of a solo layer along with a few adjustment layer. One of them is noise, one of them is shake and one of them of course is the flicker effect. And in here I have a online character that they will just show up. A very simple animation as you see. And lastly in here I have a chart animation that uh, just rises into 60,000 transactions per second. Alright, so I want to create a sort of a match cut transition between these two elements. So I want to jump from this scene to this scene like 0x100 crypto. So I'm just going to hide the background for now because it's just a bit heavy and it slows down the process. So in order to do that, a lot of people think that these uh, transitions are made with the camera, but it's just an adjustment layer that's doing all, mm, all of the heavy works in here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create an adjustment layer and I'm going to place it in here and let's just call it the scene controller. And I'm just going to cut it when the, you know, first scene ends. So it's going to be right about here. Okay, this is good. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add the transform effect. So this effect will do all of the work in this video. And what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to, when the animation reveals itself, I'm just going to set a keyframe for position. And then I'm just going to press U and let's just push it up. Very, very simple animation. Something like this. All right. So we will have this animation. Great. Now what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just going to duplicate this uh, scene controller. And I'm going to place it above the adjustment layer, above the second composition. And I'm just going to, you know, cut this, this one at here as well. And let's just get, and now let's just get back and let's reveal the keyframes. I'm just going to push the keyframes at the beginning and I'm going to just delete the first keyframe and let's just place it in here and let's just push it a bit down like this. So as you see, right now we have a slideshow rather than match cut. Now there are three things that needs to get fixed in order to make this animation better. The first one is the easings. All right, now let me show you how to set up the best easings for this type of animation. So what I'm going to do on the first step is that I'm just going to set the standard easings and then let's just press shift plus F3 to go towards the graph editor. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the first handle and I'm going to drag it towards the right like this. And then I'm just going to push it and make a graph like this. However, I'm just going to select the second keyframe and I'm going to give it a speed like let's say for hmm, 35,000, something like this. And now let's just see the effect. You will see that we will have a fast, you know, animation like this. Now flow. Uh, plugin can do the same thing for you so if you want to create recreate these animations and you don't want to go into the you know changing the graphs all the time you can just select the exposing and you can apply it so this will be the same effect slow in and then slow out and then for the second one you can just choose the expose out which is the, exactly the opposite thing of the exposing so as you see it will just go out and gets in like this so let's just work on the easings i'm just gonna increase the timing between the keyframes a bit so okay this is like okay this seems good however now on the adjustment layer that we see we have the transform layer we have a shutter angle that we can tweak it and make a better animation so this shutter angle allows you to create a motion blur for your animation. Now there are two ways in order to create this type of animations. One is with the help of transform effect that we are going to do it in a few seconds. And the second method which you can have access to it is by activating the motion blur in here and setting the layers on the blur. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to turn off the box that says use composition uh, shutter angle and I'm going to increase the shutter angle to something like let's say 250 and we will have this nice 
shutter angle for the second scene so i'm just gonna do the same thing for the first one let's just set it on 250 so you will see that we will, now we will have a shutter angle which will apply a motion blur to our effects now the tricky sauce in here is that right now it still looks like a slideshow so when the uh, animation is almost at here what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna cut this animation to here and then i'm gonna just push the animation from the end to almost in here and I'm gonna cut also the beginning of the second animation as well. So right now if you take a look at it you will see that the transition will look way way better compared to what it was before. Now right now as you see if I reveal the composition we will have a problem and it's that you will see that the background also moves with it as well. Now in order to fix that problem what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna pre-compose everything except the background and I'm gonna call it scene 001. So right now, now as you see, we will have a perfect transition for our scene. Now these tiny details are making your animation and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Goodbye.